Built on the floodplain. Forgot rain in the hinterland runs quickly down the drain that once had barriers to slow its ferocity, reduce its scouring velocity. Trees on slopes and trees on floodplain. That was the river that now is a dream. There was a wall of water. Took the house and the daughter. She got on the roof. Now I look a goof. She's okay. We live to fight another day. I'm all questioning now. How? How did this happen? Permanency and convenience is the fatal legacy of our forefathers. It wears down the neighbours, annihilates them, is a better description. Our neighbours being all living things that were there when we arrived in this country. Yari of Wiradjuri saw the stupidity of the strange white man on the floodplain of the Murrumbidgee parking himself on the bank of the river for permanency and convenience of trade. The punt was there. The village raised and then raised in the torrent that came from the mountains as it had done for eons, energising the floodplain. The nomad who walked the land, so easy that you could not see where he had been, rescued some whites from annihilation with a bark canoe. Eventually himself and his people and their way of life were annihilated for permanency and convenience. The hunter and gatherer could not exist on the denuded, dehydrated landscape shaved bare by sheep and sores and scouring.